If you've been using Windows 11 for the last couple months like me, you probably noticed that the right-click context menu has been simplified, maybe a little bit too much. It does have a clean look and the icons at the top are easily accessible to get things that you might use like copy, paste, and delete. But things I wanna use more often are not readily available and I have to go to this show more option item in the menu. When you bundle everything together, it fits in a nice tight space and it might seem like a good idea, but if you're a power user or any user for that matter, you might find this a little annoying. Users that use the send to option, create shortcut, will have to go in this option to find what they need. And if you depend on third-party app, any third-party app, you'll have to go in there very often. There's some real easy apps out there for you to make these changes right now, like start all back and start 11, but you can also edit the registry with just a couple of steps to get the same results without installing additional software. So if that interests you, I'll walk you through it right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the start button and inside search, we're gonna type in reg edit. So get the registry editor here and we're gonna right click on it and run as administrator. I don't know if you need to run it as administrator, but we're going to just to make sure that we have all the options available. Say yes to the prompt when you have it. We wanna make sure that we are in the H key current user. And we're gonna expand this and we're gonna go into the software folder and then we'll expand that. And inside the software folder, we wanna go down to classes. When you have a classes here, we're gonna expand that and we're gonna be looking for class ID or CLS ID. So it's gonna be somewhere in this list. Okay, BC, there we go. Okay, so here it is, it's in alphabetical order. So we have this and I'm going to select it. And over here on the right hand side, I'm gonna right click on it to create a new key, go to new and then key, and we're gonna give it a name. Okay, and the name that we're gonna give it is this. Now I want you to remember it because it's very important. Just joking, I'll put it in the description below so it's easy to find. So once you have pasted it in there, you hit enter and this is the key. Now we wanna select it. And now what we're gonna do is over here on the right hand side, we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna select new and we're gonna create another key within here. And we're gonna paste in a new name here. And that's what we're pasting in. So again, this will be in the description below, hit enter. And that key has been created. So right now it says no value set. So just pay attention to that because when we double click on this, we're just opening it up. We're not actually doing anything. We're gonna hit enter and that is gonna remove this option here. There's now, this data area is now blank. Now what we wanna do is close the registry editor. So now we're just gonna hit the X in the corner and close it out. To see the changes right now, what you wanna do is restart your computer. Now, if you can't restart your computer, what you can do is just kill the Explorer. Go to Start, and we'll just type in Task Manager. It's right over there. So we're gonna open this up. Under the Processes tab, we're just gonna be looking for Explorer. Windows Explorer, there it is. So we're gonna just kill this off. We're gonna right-click on it and say End Task. And your screen will go blank because we just killed one of the major components of the computer. But what we wanna do is now start it. So you can go up to the File menu, then say run a new task, type in Explorer, X, E, and then hit OK. And everything will come back. Just close out of this window. And now if you right click, your options are back to the Windows 10 style. Let's go into our File Explorer just to check it out. Here we are in the Windows desktop. On my C drive, if I right click on it, I automatically get all my options available to copy and paste and everything else. Format, if I go inside here, I can also do that a little bit more. I can now copy, paste, I can share. If you want to extract files, you don't have to take two steps and everything else. You have all your traditional options available. So that's how we restore the full contacts menu in Windows 11. So by doing this, we're gonna give it more of a Windows 11 look, but all the features of the full contacts menu that, that you're used to in Windows 10. So that's how it's done. Now, if you're looking for other things like removing the bloatware from the menu or hiding the chat icon, maybe even cleaning up the start menu, you can check out these videos that I'm linking in the description below to help optimize Windows 11 for you. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're looking for other tips and tricks for Windows 11, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.